Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more. Victoria 2 is the United States. So we, uh, we're working on anti-rationalism and they're going to give us even more research points. We've got um, 56.78 research per day, but we can practically research at double speed because we have banked research, which is awesome. Which means that we're going to knock out a lot of these technologies very quick. Like, because we're researching 56.81 per day, we're only spending 100 and we've got a bank of just a stupidly huge amount, like 20,000. Basically, like, the next three to four technologies that I do are all going to be at 100 per day. And then, actually, we'll end, we'll end up having more than 56.81 because we're going to have the 100% bonus to research from tech. But that's not going to double it from 56 to 110, of course. It's going gonna, it's gonna to increase it by quite a bit. We'll see. We also have a lot of money, and I remember I had gone through the um, infrastructure map mode. And I believe I had expanded forts everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but I, I had tried to expand forts. And I don't know that it's even really necessary. It doesn't seem to do anything economically for you. It just gives you better defense if if you're attacked in that territory and it makes it harder for people to siege you but how often have we actually been sieged in our core you know like in our in our central territory then again with massive rebellions i suppose the fort level is helping out and making sure they don't siege anything so perhaps it is worthwhile definitely down here we want to upgrade the fort level so let's go to the We'll tab back and forth between the T, is it? Region. Yes, the region map mode. W and T to find the states. As this land is fairly isolated, it'll be difficult for me to get to, if we need to, to do anything. What's with these, uh, what's this? Is Koto has a core there? Who's Sokoto? That's my land. <laughs> get out of here. And we're out of money. Managed to spend half a million pounds. Nice. Seems fairly reasonable. Oh, we're still at war with Egypt, and I forgot to uh, move these troops. That's right. Whoopsie. Egypt, will you accept being cut down to size yet? So I'm feeling pretty good about this, you know, this game and, like, what I know about it. The only thing that I'm really still not 100% comfortable with is uh, stockpiles. Like, how to actually manually control that efficiently and in a useful way. Alright. Um, occupation, we've only got three. Got one down here. That's the Egyptians. We don't care about them. We've got one more here, which is being put down. And then we've got one more up here, which is being put down. Are you going to return to your home? I hope you do. Excellent. Nice job, guys. Killed a whole bunch of Americans. That was, that was good. How dare they rebel. Peace offer from Egypt. They accept. Excellent. We accept as well. So you guys can go down there. Um, supply limit is pretty, pretty healthy here. I'm going to position some troops near Ethiopia. Actually, we'll, we'll just go to here. Still have military access to the Ottomans, though that's nice of them. Might as well increase relations with the Ottomans to hope that that never changes, and I'll still have access to Ethiopia. And we're at 19.29 Infamy, and what I had wanted to do, while Ethiopia is protected by Great Britain, and while we have a truce with them until 1904, that gives us four years to go pick on Ethiopia. 
So I want to justify a... Uh... What? Oh, shoot. Establish Protectorate. Right? They're not civilized. Annex an uncivilized country. Yes, we want to establish Protectorate. After we have... We need to lose another four infamy. And it goes down by 0.1 per month, so four infamy is like... 40 months. A little bit over three years. There's no guarantee, though, that it's going to take... That it's going to give us ten infamy, so we could roll the risk. You know, roll the die. Once we get to, like, say, 7.5 under the cap. Sounds like there's another war going on. Austrian liberation of West Prussen. Ooh, that income. Solid. Gain the cut down to size CB on Korea. Well, that one I actually, I actually know where Korea is. So that's good. Korea is in the sphere of Japan. So Japan could intervene if I were to attack them. Korea has a military score of 24. All leaders, no military. <clears throat> if we were used to use this, we could gain some C. Some more prestige. What else? What would the, the other benefit to this really be? If I sent my navy over there... <clears throat> excuse me. Do they have supply? Yep. We've got good supply. We could actually send the whole navy over quite easily. I'm 100% confident we could blow up Japan's navy. Japan is, uh... Civilized, if I'm not mistaken. They're actually a world power now. Great power, excuse me. They have, um, 158 army score. They have no capital ship score. So that means that we can just completely isolate them. Let's do it. We'll want to... Of course, if I do that... If I do that, then I won't be able to lose my infamy faster. Brazilian conquest of Corrientes against Argentina. So Brazil wants Corrientes. Am I obligated to help here? I really probably should. The faster the faster that they get put down. <clears throat> the faster I'm able to lower my prestige or my infamy again but Brazil's pretty strong I think they'll be able to win on their own all right do we need to have full budget we should probably keep paying the pay, pay the army oh and somebody had mentioned a while back and I'm really glad that they did that you have to ha send your navy into a a port that has where are you headed the port has to actually have a, a naval base in order to repair, and I didn't know that. I thought it was like EU4, so yes, I need to repair the navy. <clears throat> Holy crap! Our, intre our intrepid explorers have been the first to raise a flag at the North Pole. 125 prestige. Sweet. That is a lot of prestige. That brings us a lot closer to, um, to France. We're only 300 points shy of taking first place. Although, a war with France would be good. And we finished our first thing of research. So now we generate 65 points per day. Um, let's see. The, the other one that I wanted was, I think, the electric power generation. Let's knock that one out. There's only one tiny little hostile army there. We can safely travel through 
your territory. I think I'll just drop this army off. Oh shoot. The navy, the navy was still moving. I'll drop that na the army off and then send the boats to probably one of our best ports. I'm assuming that the... If you have to use a naval base to repair, then I would assume that the highest level naval base... Like, the higher the level, the, the faster the repair rate. Well, it affects ship build time. It doesn't say anything about repair. Maybe not. Oh, we can expand the naval base. Oh, that's right! I had started going around and upgrading naval bases. And... Ran out of money. And we're out of money again. 62,000 pounds. It's very expensive. Okay. Well, any any naval base then I suppose will work. Let's go to there. The militarization of our nation. It's good. It's a good thing. We like to be, you know, to militarize. So, this war, again, I'm assuming is going quite well. 6% already. And he is getting his ticking war score already. We can add war goals, but we have no... No anything. I don't even think I needed to help. We have discovered Delmer's Automobile. Allows Automobile Factory. Cool. Could you please stop making me suffer attrition? Thank you. Uruguay, I need military access, please. They will not accept. Oh, we're off by one. Would you stop doing that? Why do you keep doing that, Brazil? Are you stupid? That's just stupid. Stop it. Shared prestige. So we got nihilism in the will. 12.5 prestige. It looks like somebody else discovered that about the same time. That's okay. He's going for it anyway. I'm just going to march my army. Somewhere up here. Let's go hide out up here. I just want to get out of this war so we can lower our infamy a little bit faster. And then, I wonder if it does make sense to, like, release nations to just lower infamy and allow us to go attack. You know, like, we could release Quebec. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do that one time, just so that we can go to war with Ethiopia. But I wanna, I wanna see, like, will they eventually rejoin the nation, or will they just always stay independent? That's something that I, I'm quite curious about. We can try to make the socialists less conscious, less aware of what they want. But make them more militant, or we can just make the rich more conscious. Which seems fine. Let's go ahead and do that instead. Peace offer from Argentina. We accept. Peace. Another 12.5 prestige discovery. Quantum theory. Ooh. How fancy. How are these ships doing on repairs? We can leave that army down in Brazil for a while. There's no big rush. Free banking. There's always a chance that these systems will fail, and then what? 50% chance the Hawaiian Islands lose or gain militancy, and 50% chance New York loses three militancy. Or, we could have the Hawaiians lose consciousness. 
As there are no laws prohibiting or regulating private banking practices in the USA, several private institutions are issuing their own currencies. While some argue that the hard-earned savings of the common man are far too important to be left to the private sector, the case is rather the opposite in one of our states where the plethora of banking institutions available allows the people the freedom of choice to save their money in banks and thus currencies which they actually know and trust. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> no. You can't print your own currency. It's not allowed. Oh, right, so we're going to release a nation. Politics, release nation. Let's release a really tiny one. Like, you know, like, let's, we could release... No, I don't want to release Panama. We'll release uh, Quebec. Quebec. It said that they would receive... Which, which one? Oakdale. Newfoundland. So just one, one little spot, really. And we lose five infamy for that? Okay, we've got 3,000 people here. I can lose... Are you serious? I can lose five infamy to get rid of 3,000 people? Okay. Do you want to release Quebec as a satellite? Quebec will receive the following. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now you are a satellite of the USA. And now you're in my sphere. So if I understand it correctly, all we really lose is we lose the ability to tax these people. But since they're in our sphere, we still have, you know, we have priority over their production. Um, how's state administrative efficiency doing since I lowered all of our... I stopped paying the damn bureaucrats so much. Still, still really good. Still basically 100%. Except for over here. Not very good at taxing these people. Non-core provinces in state. That's not too bad. It could be worse. Okay. Well, um, yeah, that seems like that was really good. Let's go ahead and do the fabricated thing against you now. Justify war. Establish protectorate. Go. And let's see if we can maybe get an excuse to go attack them. And that will allow us to colonize here and here. Get a whole bunch of people. It'll take 129 days. Not very long at all to justify. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in a bit.